All right, we're here with Jeff Mayweather, not too long after the big uh, Alexander Usyk and uh, Tyson Fury fight. Uh, I haven't read too much yet if it's controversial or not, but a split decision going in the favor of Alexander Usyk. Jeff, first thoughts on, thoughts on the fight? Well, I mean, I thought the fight was – it was a give-and-take fight, but um, Tyson Fury – did way too much moving and he was he was moving backwards and he's the bigger guy yeah the most like of the whole thing. yeah like you said before the fight that he needed to kind of do like you know deontay wilder lean on him and he did very little if any of that the entire fight and like you said moving back and when he did go forward he did really well but he seemed to be you know trying to be to box with him and you know be a little uh like muhammad ali more than you know rather than be just be himself and do what he could do at his best well maybe it's something about Usyk that make these guys want to box him rather than actually fight him because anthony joshua did the exact same thing i mean he tried to outbox him and i guess it's been proven that he can't be outboxed but I mean, I don't understand. You outweigh him by probably 50 pounds. Go to him. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, in the first couple of rounds, Usyk was having his way. But, you know, the you know, towards the middle of the fight, Fury started to take over for a while, hurt him a couple of times, it seemed. Really started to work the body, which we had talked about before the fight being a key. Uh, seemed like he went away from that as the fight went on. But, you know, it was very effective in the early to middle part of the fight going to the body. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, in the sixth round, he was he was doing really, really good. And, I mean, he even hurt Usyk a few times. But it just seemed like, he was just content to just move backwards most of the whole fight. And why do you, I mean, do you think he was just overconfident, especially once it started to work in his favor, uh, you know, up until that, that ninth round, you think he said, well, I mean, he was boxing from the beginning, but you know, like I said, once it started to turn his way, maybe he said, well, this is all I had to do. And I can kind of beat him in his own game. And he, he kind of, uh, you know, made a mental mistake. Yeah, that, that could have happened, but, the one thing is this, is that if you're, like I said, if you're the bigger guy, you have to, you have to be the one advancing. And he should have, Usyk should have been the one going backwards. Right. And then, and then we get to the, uh, but it still seemed to be smooth sailing, even though Fury wasn't doing what he probably should have been doing. Pretty smooth sailing up until the ninth round. And, you know, he finally got a little cute and, uh, you know, got caught. And, and I don't know, do you think the ref should have stepped in? Do you think he was, you know, I mean, he obviously, I think he probably was too out of it to take a knee. I mean, that's probably what he should have done because he was hurt. But, uh, you know, was he stopped? Should, or do you think the because of the magnitude of the fight, the ref did the right thing by not stepping in until he was able to give him a standing eight count? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um. I mean, he was hurt. He was really hurt. But I think that he did the right thing. Uh, and then what do you think, like, after that, like, the next round, who six, you know, maybe he was a little tired himself. Did he punch himself out a little bit? Because, uh, you know, the 10th round, he kind of took the round off. Yeah. He probably did. He probably worked too hard to get get to that point. And... The next round, he probably didn't have what it, what it took to to finish it. Yeah. I know you're not a wrestling guy, but they compare him to The Undertaker, and that's kind of uh, – compared to Tyson Fury to The Undertaker, that's pretty apt a comparison. I think, you know, Undertaker, whenever he get hurt, you know, then he'd just kind of sit up in the middle of the of the ring, and that's kind of like what Tyson does, right? He, we thought he was dead against uh, Wilder, and he got up here. He, he seemed all kinds out of it. And then, you know, next round, he – you know, may have won the next round, but he certainly was uh, seemed to regain his composure. Are you amazed that a, a heavyweight like like Fury seems to have such amazing uh, recovery powers? Yeah, he has he has a lot of recovery power, but I also think that some damage was done to him in the fights with he had with Wilder because they both beat each other up pretty bad, 
And I think that it showed. What do you think about the uh, the scorecards? I mean, do, do you see – Do you well, first, do you think Usyk won, and then second, do you are you okay with, you know, one of the judges at least giving it to, to Fury? Um. Yeah, I thought that – I mean, the fight was really, really close. I mean, because even when Tyson was going backwards, he still was throwing punches. Mm -hmm. But he was just being walked down. So, I mean – it's a very close fight. I think that they made the right decision. Based on Fury coming in so much lighter, you, you know, I mean, it seems that probably, I guess, because, you know, you had said and others that, you know, he should lean on him, but he came in the lightest he's, I believe, ever or for, for a long, long time. He, he came in uh, much lighter than he has in, in a long time. It seemed like maybe the strategy was to box him from the beginning. And do you think that was, you know, a, an error in judgment that to take that kind of strategy? Um, probably so because I think that he should have did exactly what he did to Deontay Wilder, and that's any time Usi got close to him, put that weight on him and and, and drain him. Well, we know the fight was a uh, an immediate had an immediate rematch clause. Uh, do you think that's something we see right away, or or do you think maybe they they go separate ways for a fight or two, and, and should it be an immediate rematch? Um, I think it should be a immediate rematch since it was just a split decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was because a lot of people think that Tyson Fury really won. Right. And then, you know, just finally, I you know, we saw Usyk, you know, he was as serious as can be, right? From from the, the walk-in the entire time, he was dead on serious. You know, Fury's always been, you know, someone that likes to, to have a little fun and that kind of thing. But like I said, we saw him do the Muhammad Ali in the corner, you know, dancing around. And, yeah. you know, even at the end of the fight, you know, in a close fight, he's putting his hands behind his back. Do you think, you know, hey, be a little more serious. This is not a joke. This is a – or do you think you got to kind of fight like like your personality? And that's that's what Tyson Fury is. No, I just think I think he has to be himself, and and I think that when he when he did that showboating, it wasn't no big deal because I mean it wasn't like he was doing it when Usyk was throwing punches at him. He basically was just doing it right before, and then he had his defense ready. All right, well, I mean, so I I guess I didn't ask you. So you are, do you agree with Usyk winning though? Um, I think that the fight was the fight was close, very close. Could have went either way. I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad with Usyk winning because Usyk pressed the fight the whole entire the whole entire fight. He pressed. He went forward. Tyson went backwards. But if Fury had been given the nod, you you wouldn't call it a robbery. No, not at all. All right, man. You All drunk? right, man. I'm going to ask a question for the people. Are you drunk? Nope. You look sick, That's man. Drunk. All right, Jeff. Take care of yourself, man. That's we'll all I need. What? All I need is some water. That's it. That's what people said. The water and, and their five million home remedies they have for you. <laughs> well, all right, Jeff. maybe I need to get one. Yeah, there you go. All right, send your uh, yeah, send your uh, remedy, home remedies into Jeff. He'll he'll take care. He'll try each and every one. We'll do videos on each yes. remedy. Try. Sure will. Yep. All right, Jeff. See you at the gym this week. Appreciate it. All right. Take care.